What's up guys, Mitt here with Gemba Automation. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to some of the new developments that are happening in technology. So one of the bigger developments right now is this new software named ChatGPT. What ChatGPT is, is you know how you guys go into a Google search and then you type in a random question. That's very easy. Let's say, how many days are there in a year? Without you having to go to any website, it gives you the answer right on top. So what OpenAI and ChatGPT did was crawl the internet to make the user able to understand and answer a wide variety of questions, far more than happens on the automatic populate search in the Google search engine. So what I wanted to do was ask it mechanical engineering related questions. I don't know if it'll know. I don't know if it won't know. Let's see. We could be wowed by the answers. We could have the answers make us fall asleep. But let's just see how powerful the search engine and this tool is. All right, so here is how it works. So basically you type in a question here. Let's just say, how many days are in one year? And it gives you a pretty thought out response. So as you guys can see, this is pretty impressive. So let's see if it can answer This first question, what is the formula for calculating force? Force equals mass times acceleration. Newton's second law of motion. Wow, this thing is smart. It knew exactly how to calculate this. And it's giving you a little bit of history. And then it gives you some other context as to how uh, force is calculated. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say this is probably a 9 or 10 response in terms of this question. So, let's ask it the next question. The next question is, what is the best material to use if I am making a cell phone cover? TPU, okay. Pretty good option. Let's see, silicone, yep, yeah, a lot of them are made from silicone. And as you can see, it gives you a reason. So it gives you a reason that you may want to use any of these materials. I mean, overall, this is pretty impressive. And at the end, it gives you that it's our choice. So it has no responsibility for if I were to have chosen one instead of five. Chat GPT, good job. All right, I would say this is probably an eight or nine out of 10 response. It actually was able to see and put themselves in the user's position as to figure out what they would want their cell phone cover to have. All right, so let's ask it a little bit more complicated question. So I'm designing a spring for a car and let's see how ChatGPT says that I should validate the spring design. Lots of ways. Uh-oh, watch out. FEA, yeah, we all know what FEA is. They have that in SolidWorks, which is pretty impressive that it came up with it. Physical testing, all right. Well, we got to make this thing, and we got to make sure that it works. And durability testing. Because you have to test it through X number of cycles, which is very correct. And temperature testing. I mean, it gave you a pretty good analysis as to why uh, you would go through these particular steps in order to validate how your spring is designed. And at the end, again, it's saying that there's a lot of other factors and don't completely use this. So it's it's great. I mean, this is a w pretty well thought out response. I mean, you first can do an FEA, then you actually would make it and you mm, 
go to the physical world and you test it and then you see how durable it is put it in heat and put it in cold and then corrosion and at the end some quality inspection so <laughs> i mean it's pretty pretty cool software all right next why can't we make an electric rocket so i saw this on twitter uh and i want to see what chat gpt's response to this yeah basically you need a lot of propulsion in order to make this happen so as you can see i mean the the thrust to weight ratio is actually <laughs> pretty important i mean this is all kind of boils down into newton's third law and i mean this is actually giving a pretty thought out response so i mean <laughs> It's uh, the last sentence is actually pretty cool. It's an important note that electrical proportion is uh, mostly used for deep space missions where the spacecraft uh, would need to make a small corrections to their orbit and velocity over an extended period of time and not as a primary propulsion system to get uh, the rocket out of orbit, which is a pretty cool thing to learn from this thing. All right. Now here what advice would you give any mechanical engineer entering the future so let's dump it over here and see what happens here we go boom oh wow here i mean kind of validated that it's not going to give you every answer stay current with new technologies Learn CAD, all right. Yeah, stay current with new technologies like this one. I mean, this is pretty powerful for what you would need to learn. And then learn a multidisciplinary skill set. So you got to learn electrical pretty well. You got to know how the hardware interfaces. You got to learn software. You got to learn controls. So. I mean, and it gives you some soft skills at the end, be a team player, collaborate, and then, uh, oh, it actually says to be wary of the environmental impact that you're making. Wow, this is a pretty, pretty cool, uh, I guess, roadmap for if you wanted to get pretty deep in the world of mechanical engineering. So, I mean, this is a pretty so powerful uh, software as i was shown here i mean it's pretty pretty cool and i'm very excited to see how the world uses that this technology and how it's able to change the way that we do business so that was your quick uh chat gpt uh, tutorial for mechanical engineers so uh hit the subscribe button and follow our youtube channel for more all right see you guys